Thursday night baseball now from the home of the Cardinals, Bush Stadium in St. Louis. Tonight, game two of this three-game interleague series between the Detroit Tigers and the St. Louis Cardinals. And before we get on with things here this evening, a look at the two starting lineups we'll see featured tonight. Where more Tuesday night baseball after this. All right, now that's going to get him into trouble. Oh, hang on now. This ball is smoked to right, and I don't think this one's coming back. No chance. It's gone. A solo shot here to straightaway right field. Number 18 for him on the campaign, and the Tigers take a 3 to nothing lead. Wow, he has proven to be a real nuisance in the first two games of this series. A home run in last night's ball game, and now another one here. Al Kaline will stand in yet again as we flash you back to the middle innings. This was a turning point here, a solo home run that was really one of the key at bats of the ball game to this point. And there's the fourth wide one, so they'll go after the next guy with a force at any base here and two men gone. And this could really be trouble now because with runners on every base, they've got a chance to really break this thing wide open. Yeah, and it's been a long time coming. They haven't done anything with their opportunities so far. Maybe this will be the time that they finally crack the scoreboard. Now from Progressive Field here in Cleveland, MLB The Show has Thursday Night Baseball. Tonight it's the first of four between the central leading Detroit Tigers and the Cleveland Indians. Al Kaline will take his first shot, first offering on the way. Hit hard towards the hole, and that's through into left to base hit. Cabrera rounds third and heads for home. Now it's cut off, a throw to the plate. Is in time, and he's cut down at the plate as they team up to gun him down. Tigers get one here on two hits in the inning. On now to the bottom of inning number one. Detroit is out in front, number five. Al Kaline will stand in now. He's sink. Now here it comes. Let's go. Now a swing and a ball hit pretty well down that left field line. This has a chance, and it is gone. A home run. So a solo shot down the line in left. 19th home run for him on the season. And with it, the Tigers have been staked to a 3-1 to one lead. That's a mistake in location right here. and It could wind up really coming back to haunt him. This is a solo home run, and it makes this a two. Both teams getting their final warm-ups in as we welcome you back to the MLB pregame show. First pitch of game two in our series is right around the corner, but before we turn that corner, here is our tops player spotlight. Al Kaline will be our subject, and the past month or so has been very kind to this emerging star as he's been posting some really impressive numbers. For more, let's turn to Steve Lyons. Well, thanks, Matt. You know, many people know of him by now, but everyone's going to know his name if he keeps playing like he has of late. You know, coming into this season, he was seen as a young, up-and-coming player who could be a real superstar in Major League Baseball once he fully developed. But he looks like he might be hitting that stride a lot earlier than we all thought, because right now, he's performing on an elite level and has arguably been the hottest player on his team. Now, I suggest paying attention to him in this game because we might be witnessing the coming out party for baseball's next great star. Okay, 
Eric, Steve, and I are ready for baseball, and we'll have it for you next on the show. First open for business in 1994. There's a look at Progressive Field here in Cleveland. It's the first game in the month of July between the central leading Detroit Tigers and the Cleveland Indians. Al Kaline will stride in now. Clean wage here in game number two. 1-1 one, one pitch swung on and pulled down the line to third. Throw to first will be in time, and there's one gun at home as this one is over. Time for one final check of the line score as you see the key players there in this shot. We're just a few blocks south of Lake Erie at Progressive Field in downtown Cleveland. Today, game three of this four-game weekend set between the Detroit Tigers and the Cleveland Indians. Al Kaline will dig in now, and here's the first pitch. Now a ball lying toward the gap in left center, and that is down for extra bases as this will get one home and maybe two. And the runner will score from second. And it's in time, and he's out at the plate, so one runs across, but the second one is cut down trying to score. Al Kaline will stride in, ground it out his left. Hey, we got one out here. First pitch on the way. And here's a ball hit in the air. And no one can corral that one, base hit. And now that's already eight runs they've pushed across the plate here in the first few innings. And I don't know what's gotten into these guys, but they've definitely had the bats working so far. For the lineup, he's 0 for 3 thus far. Al Kaline will try again. Kaline. 2 for 4 in the ball game. Hey, we got no out. First pitch coming. Swinging a liner back through the box. And there's a base hit as well as that's into center field. Two straight hits to kick off the ninth. Check this out on show track. It's not a bad first pitch. It's down. It's on the outside part of the plate. Hey, if you can get guys to swing at that, you're going to have a lot of success. Look at the home of the Tigers, Comerica Park here in Detroit. Independence Day action is got baseball on the 4th of July between the Tampa Bay Rays and the Detroit Tigers. Al Kaline will dig in here with the bases loaded now and a chance to first pitch coming. Swing and a ball hit fairly well heading high and deep toward right center. Jennings is there and that should be deep enough to score the run and he will score on the Sacrifice fly as he's in with our first tally of the ball game. And with one out, the base is loaded. This isn't the worst thing that could happen to you if you're out there on the mound. They do give up one run with the sacrifice fly, but with two outs now, they're much closer to avoiding what could have been a huge inning. Al Kaline will stand in on the strike now from Archer. A ball hit hard to the left side. Right here, find the That's ball. in there, base hit. Cabrera rounds third and heads for home. And the runner will score from second. Well, that's what he's done well all season. Matt swings the bat with runners in scoring position. He drives in another one here on the RBI double. Al Kaline will stand in now in what could be a real make-or-break situation. And you think at this point you have to get something out of this end. The further you get into that bullpen, the tougher it's going to be to claw back from this deficit. First pitch to him. Now a ball lying toward the alley in left center. And this is going to find the alley as he might have himself his second double of the ball game. Around third and being waved on home. And the runner will score from first. Well, this is what happens when you allow that leadoff man to get on base. I thought they might hold him at third with nobody out, but he comes all the way around to score from first on the RBI double. And Tuesday night.
Night Baseball now from Comerica Park in downtown Detroit, Michigan. Tonight, the second of three to start the week between the Tampa Bay Rays and the Detroit Tigers. Al Kaline will get his first shot here. A couple of hits in four trips last night. It's a hard hit ball back up the middle. And that'll get through into center field for a base hit. And the run will score from second to make this a 2-0 ball game. So he's able to come through here with two away. And that's a good time to check out our RBI leaders on the league leaderboard. And as you see, he's right up there among the league leaders in that department. Al Kaline will stand in now in what could be a real make-or-break situation. And you think at this point you have to get something out of this inning. The further you get into that bullpen, the tougher it's going to be to claw back from this deficit. First pitch coming. And a drive out to deep right center field. And they're going to slice this deficit back down to one, as this should be good for extra bases. I'll tell you what, there aren't a whole lot of ballparks in this league where that isn't a home run. I mean, he had to hit that thing 400 feet plus, but at least he'll have three bases to show for him. Al Kaline will try again. Runners leap from first and third. Here's the pitch. Oh, here's a line drive into center field. It's a base hit. Scoring is the runner from third, and that'll cut the lead down to one. Robbie Grossman will be summoned down to be the pinch runner. Now the 2-1. Oh, this is in the air to left center field and deep. Can they run this one down? I don't think so. It's going to land beyond him for extra bases. The time runs score. Tigers have won this one walk-off style. Well, you have to sense early on that this one was destined to go down to the wire. Sure enough, these guys are going to pull this one out here in walk-off fashion. A good look at the home of the Tigers, Comerica Park here in Detroit. Today, getaway day here in this three-game series between the Tampa Bay Rays and the Detroit Tigers. Al Kaline will stand in. A line out victim is first. Hammered the other way to deep right field. And he will make the play out there, and there are two. Al Kaline will look to keep pouring it on as he stands in with the bases loaded. Let's let him right here. And here's the first pitch. Swing and a line drive to center field. And that's in there. Base hit. One run is scored. And the second run will score as well. Two more runs in the score there. And now that's a dozen runs in the ball game. And I can guarantee you, you're not going to lose too many games when you drop a 12 spot on somebody. Friday Night Baseball on the show, and we come your way from the Motor City of Detroit, Michigan. Tonight, game two of this four-game weekend set between the Chicago White Sox and the central-leading Detroit Tigers. Al Kaline will dig in here with the bases loaded now and a chance to really do some damage. And here's the first pitch. Now a ball lined to the right side. That's in there. Base hit. And the run will score as the Tigers are off to a 1-0 lead. Ah, trying maybe to carry a little of that momentum over from last night. He gets a pitch he can handle right here. And he's going to give his guys an early lead here. And that makes the score 1-0. Al Kaline will dig in now. Single is now the pitch. Lined into left field, a base hit. Hey, eat it, eat it. Cut it right there. 
And at this point, I don't think you could expect anything less than a two-hit ball game from this guy. He's been as hot as opened in the millennium year of 2000. There's a look at Comerica Park here in Detroit. Tonight it's the third of this four-game weekend series between the Chicago White Sox and the Detroit Tigers. They're capable of playing much better ball, and I think we'll see a sharper focus here on this one. The right fielder, number six. Al Kaline will try it again. He flew out his first time. He's set, now the pitch. Hard hit towards center. Turn, and that'll get it, down it. for a base hit. Hey, no running, no running. Eat it, eat it. And with that, that'll push his hit streak to a modest six games. Third. Al Kaline will stride in here to get the Tigers started in their half pitch on the way. Now a ball lined hard go toward on, right go center. Go to, go to. And that's into the gap and should be extra bases. Around second, he'll try for third. And the Tigers are in business to start the inning. They've got a leadoff triple. So he's in at third to kick off the inning as you take a look at the league leaders in triples. And as you can see there, he currently leads the AL in that department. One more look at the final line score there to see the great pitching performance that led his guys to the victory. So with a couple of men in scoring position and two gone, it looks like we'll see a pinch hitter in this spot. For 0-2 coming. Into right center field. He comes up with a big one here. This is down for a base hit. And he will score as well. 